Hello there. Today I want to talk about another topic about a woman's career. There are plenty of things that could be a danger to a woman's career. It could be laziness or a weak will. But the true potential to the death blow of your career is men. Other people can be a threat to but in most cases it's always men who ruin a woman's career for their own personal gain. If you can't stay away from men then use them as companions. At least men who are treated as companions can control their shitty behavior and will most likely stay in their lane. And if they don't you can easily put men in their place, because you don't owe them a thing when you don't allow them to come close. Protect your dreams like a lioness protecting her cubs, don't let men dethrone you from living the life you worked for. Sure a lot of men support their partner's dream, but haven't you noticed that the support always comes after they force the woman to stay at home when the kids are born? When the children are old enough to go to school all of the sudden the men want their wives to be active, but it's not for their best interest. They want you to be active so that you can shed the baby weight by focusing on new goals in life, but in reality they just want a trophy wife and if you sit around the house only doing child rearing then it won't happen. There is nothing benevolent about men who make you give up your dream and then take care of your financial business and spoil you to compensate for your loss. It's their money and their achievements you are benefiting from and people will look at you like you haven't done anything useful with your life. You see deluded women run their man's business, but his name is on the building? His name not yours. Unless the business has your name on it you are always putting your bet on a losing player. It's no better than a slave owner making slaves work for him and his company while he's out of town. Your hard work and sacrifices will never be recognized. All the credit will go to him but if you have set up your business and a man funded it for you then everyone will praise that man, because without his help the woman wouldn't have done it. Ever seen a wife winning awards or talking about when they support their husband's dream and make sacrifices to make his dream possible? Me neither. I heard a quote that says, the ones who give up their dream has died already. And that's the truth, you only live once and if you die you will enter the grave alone. Your man is not going to lie in there with you, so don't ever make sacrifices for men. Not even a single man is worth it and the ones who are worth it would die for you. 99% of men won't die for you so 99% of the male population aren't even worth your time when it comes to achieving your goal. Men can get in the way of a lot of things, they can disappoint you, piss you off, manipulate you into doing things you don't want to do. And I hate to admit that a woman's heart is easily to manipulate, especially when she's in love. Men can throw you away like trash and your disappointment in him can have a bad effect on your maximum efforts. Jealousy can also play a huge role in why you fail, you will feel like a minor, because you need to explain yourself. If you have a late night meeting you might not be able to go because he refuses to look after the children, or you can't do this or that because he will be jealous. But when it's the other way around you are expected to look after the children when he's out or overseas to make his dream come true, because nothing changes in a man's life when he becomes a father. Every man admits that the woman is the prime caregiver and should do the most. So don't fall for it when men tell you they will help out. You know that a real man, nor a real father will call his contribution to child rearing. Helping out. Helping out is carrying a shopping bag for an old lady. The responsibility of a father is a lot more than that. He needs to take care of his family and secure his wives and children future instead of being a selfish career driven twat. Don't let other PPL tell you that man can lead the family, they can hardly raise children without moaning or get off their ass and make their own dinner so how can you expect them to be a suitable leader in your life? Some women say that men are a luxury, but as far as I know luxury doesn't give you a headache. A luxury gives you joy and the only luxury a woman needs is a leading life on her terms without the unwanted opinion of men or these pro-male women. In this world men are the only danger, you hardly hear about natural disasters ruining a woman's career but a man getting in the way of a woman's potential happens everywhere. It's hardly spoken about because it's tradition to have women at home at some point in her life, and back in the day women even got fired from their jobs because they need to go home and make babies. I'm not saying you should stay single, but keep men at arm length, unless you have nothing to live for and enjoy being dominated. Make it very clear that you are a careers woman first, and everything else falls on second place before you start dating. 
I can guarantee you that most fuckboys will piss off. Respect yourself and say goodbye to him before you say goodbye to your career and dreams. A man who truly respects you honors and respect your career even more, a man who prevents you from retiring instead of the reason behind your early retirement could be a suitable partner, but never give them the chance to be involved with your career. There are plenty of men who went to court claiming that they were responsible of their wives' success when they split. You hardly hear that because a woman going to court for alimony payments are the only things that creates a hot topic. Men always act like invaders in a woman's life. And how do you keep invaders at bay? By not giving them access to your personal life, deny their request to share a house with them, say no to their demand to have a baby when you aren't done with your bucket list, say no when they want to move in with you, say no when they want to start a partnership or want to be your manager, because men prey on career-driven women just to either destroy them or keep you on a mental leash preventing them from flourishing. Usually it's done out of envy, because a man's worst nightmare is having women walking around with greater potential than them. Simply because men in general hate what they can't control or take advantage of, when women are capable of doing more than just cook and have babies you are too masculine or something is wrong with you for not having your legacy at home. And if what I'm saying is not true then why was the first female test pilot shamed for doing a man's job? Why was there such hatred and uproar just because the rebellion for women workers rights started in the 50s? If men truly care about you they would back off and wait until you're where you want to be with your career and support you from the distance until you have space left for a relationship and if that's not the case then they would be happy to be a part of your life as a good friend. I read a story about a kickboxer and his father didn't want him to have a girlfriend because it could be a threat to his kickboxing career. But ironically she should have been told to stay away from the soon-to-be kickboxer and have people warn her about men and their corrupt nature in general because of her he started to eat clean and work out more because she had his back. But when his selfishness kicked in he asked her to stop working her two jobs and abandon her education so that he doesn't have to babysit and food will be on the table when he gets home from training. So the moral of the story is that men have as much power over you as much as you allow it. And how do you prevent giving them power? By keeping these fuckers on a distance and keep them in the dark. The things men accuse women of doing is usually because they are guilty of doing the same thing to others. Like a cheater, they assume or accuse others of being a cheater too. I'm telling you this for your own good, and if you rather chase dreams than men it hardly feels like a sacrifice not having a lot of dating options, because the results of your hard work is what you will live for. Success stays with you forever but men will only stay if you keep giving what they want from you. Like being a free mate on their service 24-7 until you are replaced with something better. So invest in yourself and career always, 